my name is Nick and I am from Radix Media. We are a worker owned and union print shop in Brooklyn, New York. Come on in and take a look at the shop. I am showing you every part of the shop. You're gonna get to see every, a lot of different little things that we don't always show people, which is pretty cool. Um, and you'll get to see what a working shop is like. Sometimes it's a total mess. We try and keep it organized, but there's a lot of stuff going on here. We are constantly making books and always printing things. This is the paper cutter. This is arguably the most important thing in the print shop. Everything that we print here on paper gets cut down in this machine. Let's take a look at how it works. Grab a stack of paper like this, nice big stack. Put it in the machine. Adjust your setting. We're gonna cut this at eight inches. Just kidding, we're gonna cut it at seven inches. And we have uh, two buttons for the for the blade to come down, so you don't chop your hand off. And that's how you cut paper. This is the Vandercook. This is a 1930s letterpress proofing press. Uh, we use it for big wood type posters, book covers, anything that's large and needs to be letterpress printed. Just like these tax the rich posters. Tax the rich, woo! This funny machine is the Heidelberg Windmill. This is an automatic platen letterpress machine. Uh, probably built in the 1970s. They built these up until the 1980s and they were ubiquitous uh, around the world. Um, they're great uh, machines for printing small letterpress stuff. So this is what we print. Um, things like business cards and wedding invitations and uh, some of our smaller book covers too get printed on here. We've got a nice business card on, on the press here with a photopolymer plate. And uh, let's uh, see what it looks like when it runs. What a cool machine, it's a window. Now, I'm back in the bowels of Radix Media in the bindery room. We're, this is where we do most of our binding, but it's also where we happen to have this machine, which is the photopolymer plate maker. It's got lots of cool little buttons and dials and makes it look like a spaceship. Uh, but we make all of our photopolymer plates in-house for all of our letterpress printing, right here with this machine and it only uses UV light and water to process the plates. No chemicals involved, very cool. And this is what a photopolymer plate looks like. It's a piece of plastic that's very thin, but it's got a raised surface. And that's what we print from in letterpress, a raised surface. This is the photopolymer plate. The bindery room also does have real bindery equipment. Isn't that amazing? We have a bomb folder machine. Anything that needs to get folded, greeting cards and that kind of stuff gets folded right here. And then next to it, we have the Plockmatic. Woo! This is how we make saddle stitched booklets. So a small booklet that's stapled or a largish booklet, eight by 10 maybe, um, they all get folded, stapled and cut in this machine in one fell swoop. It looks super boring, but it is a very cool machine and it does awesome work for us. Once the books or the booklets are bound here, then we take it over to the Hickok Press. This is a 19th century book press. It's huge and it's got a ton of space so we can fit a lot of booklets in here. The booklets go from the Plockmatic to the book binding, uh, to the book press and we leave it in there for at least 24 hours so the book gets books get really nice and flat. Here are a couple of examples of um, saddle stitched booklets. One example is our Be the Change coloring book that we did with uh, Just Seeds Guava Summer, part of our Futures series, 
And then here's a third example. This is something we've done for a client, the Goethe Institute. See those staples in there. This is the hole drilling machine. So if you need to drill a hole in some tags, or if you need to drill a hole, a three holes in the side of your binder paper or something like that, we can drill those holes right here with this machine. We also do uh, wire binding here with this little machine. Um, yeah, pretty cool. We do lots of books here. Please get in touch with your book projects. This is the ink mixing table. Um, we keep all of our inks here. We use a Pantone guide system to mix each color by hand for offset and letterpress printing. Not for digital printing. Digital printing, that's a whole different story. But here we have a uh, mixing book like this, and you can choose a color from this book. And then each color has a ratio of other colors that go into that color. So you have all the base colors here, um, like rubine red, warm red, green, red, reflex blue. And we take little bits of each of some of those colors and mix them together to get your perfect color. At Radix Media, we like to do new types of printing and old types of printing. This is some old type of printing stuff. These are all reglets and leading and furniture that we use for letterpress printing. And down below, this is where we keep all of our type. Each one of these drawers is an individual typeface in a specific size. We've got um, 30 point Lydia here. Here's the uppercase, here's the lowercase. You got numbers up here and punctuation and spacing is all uh, spread out inside the drawer. Over here, we have some wood type. This is an 18 line Gothic condensed. Pretty cool. Old type. This is how everything was printed for about 500 years. This right here is the baby pack. This is how we shrink wrap stuff. We don't shrink wrap that much stuff, but it's a cool little machine. When we have to shrink wrap things, we do it with this machine. It helps keep the books clean. In the front of the shop here, we have our newest machine. I'm not even sure I wanna introduce you to it. It's so new um, and it's hanging out by the trash can for no other reason than we are running out of space because of all the friggin' machines we have. But this is a perfect binder. This will glue books together for you. So if you need a thick book of individual sheets as opposed to a saddle stitch or staple book, then we glue it with this machine right here. It uses a hot glue and uh, makes a beautiful book. This is a perfect bound book that was perfect bound on this machine. You can see it's got a flat spine. It's got a little tiny bit of glue in there that's holding all the pages together. This is a animal notebook, perfect bound. You may have seen this machine in the background of some of the other little videos I'm taking of our shop. It's a tiny shop and we have got a lot of stuff in here. This is a very cool machine. This is the iTech offset printer. It prints two colors at once, which is really cool. We've got two print heads. Uh, we print a lot of books with this. Um, a, a lot of our publications are printed on this machine right here. It prints really fast, does a great job and makes uh, really beautiful things. And it sits right here in the center of the shop. It's like the centerpiece, the, the, the middle banquet, the middle of the banquet. Very cool machine. Not running right now. Wish I could show you. This right here is the duplexer. This thing will take two sheets of paper, glue them together, and then you have one super thick piece of paper. Um, one of the advantages is to make thick pieces of paper, so that's great, but you can also take two different colored pieces of paper and glue them together so that you have a double-sided card that, that has two different colors on each side. Pretty cool little thing. This is a duplexed business card. It's got a nice gray paper on one side and it's got blue on the other with some nice foil duplex. One thing that you'll see in every single print shop that you go to in the whole world is lots of paper. Check out this paper. 
we have boxes and boxes of paper and it is everywhere we have to do our best to, to keep it all kinds of places we have a nice yellow paper i wonder what project is going to be on this um we have blue paper pink paper all different colored all different sizes textures weights um just ask us we probably have it or at least we can find it for you if you ever come and visit us at radix media hopefully after covid um, you might want to check out our giant poster wall, which is always growing with new posters. Uh, these are all posters that we have printed, some that we have designed, and some other people have designed and we have just printed. Um, but it's some of our favorite um, projects that we've worked on in the past, and uh, we'd like to show them off here on this poster wall. And uh, hopefully it will continue to grow. This right here is the collator. If we need to collate paper, we use the collator. All right, I have brought you into the secret room at Radix Media. This is the 21st century room. This is where we keep all the machines that are newer machines. So it's not like the old machines, like the letterpress or the offset and all that kind of stuff. This is where the new machines live. And we keep them in this heat heated room to make sure that they're at a normal temperature, a stable temperature, all the time, 24 hours a day. It helps keep, um, keep them ready to go. They are great machines for printing full color quickly um, and for a relatively inexpensive, inexpensive cost. So this is our Xerox V180, uh, prints 13 by 19 sheets, full color. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful machine. And here are some of the cool things that we print on this beautiful Xerox digital printer. Look at this. This is a beautiful full color poster, Brandon West. Over here, we have the HP Latex. This is for anything that's big, really big. We can do four feet by a hundred foot banners on this machine. So if you're, uh, you're gonna have a protest, and you need a very large banner for that protest, we have got you covered with this machine. We do banners, we do posters on this um, machine also. Um, yeah, pretty much banners and posters. That's pretty much what it does. But uh, it's, it's a beautiful machine. It makes really good high quality prints and uh, high quality banners. The other thing you'll find in this room is paper, more paper. We got a lot of paper, I'm telling you. We've got so much paper that we need people to call us up so that we can print things for you on all this paper, or else it's just gonna sit here and get dusty. All right, this is Radix Media's office. This is where uh, we use our fingers to type things on computers. So when we're not out in the shop printing stuff, we're writing emails and uh, designing your projects and um, you know filing our taxes and boring stuff like that. Um, but check it out, we use computers too. It's not all just handset type. Um, we do use computers for things. Uh, we edit books. This is where all of our great ideas for book projects um, come in. And this is uh, also where we keep all of the books we produce. Um, so, or publish, I should say. This is where we keep the books that we publish. Um, this is our future series. Here's Milo. We also sell, um, Notebooks, letterpress printed notebooks. We have some really nice postcards. Um, Marius Mason did this wonderful painting of Sacco and Vanzetti. Um, and we are selling these as postcard sets that you can buy on our website. In this part of the office, we have a warehouse. There's a big ladder and there's some high shelves with lots of boxes on them. This is where we store our published books before they ship. Um, so here's some more ink up here. But what I really wanted to show you is foil. These are all the rolls of foil that we have. So if you want to print something in a meta shiny metallic color, we use foil stamping. Um, we've got a nice gold, we've got rose gold, white. We've got some matte colors too down here. All kinds of... Uh, cool little rolls of foil. This one I think is my favorite. Look at that holographic 
Whoa, trippy. And here is that awesome cool foil, Futures. Wow, so cool, huh? The future is unwritten. Thanks so much for coming on this tour with me. Check us out at radixmedia.org where you can request an estimate for a print project that you might have. And you can also uh, pick up one of our awesome publications, uh, posters, books, stationery, uh, all kinds of fun stuff like that. Thanks so much.